If life were fair, 17-year-old Emmanuel Gatewood would have gone to Grambling State and been a football star. If life were fair, he would have graduated and lived his life helping young men very different from himself. Initially, he wanted to be a police officer, and one of, a fa one of our family friends was a parole officer and was telling him about that job role, and he decided that that was something that he wanted to do. If life were fair, Emmanuel Gatewood's mother wouldn't be talking to us about his murder with her pastor at her side for support. The top she's wearing requires some explanation. Mamo's sister um, couldn't say his name, Emmanuel, so she would call him Mamo. Mm -hmm. So it just stuck, and so we started calling him Mamo. About the only person who didn't call him Mamo was the person who murdered him, and that's because Mamo was a total stranger to him. It happened at about 10.45 on Tuesday night, July 10th, 2012, on 123rd Street near Normandy in the Athens District. There was a party going on, um, kind of a sort of graduation party at uh, this location right here. Um, it was a kind of low-key pool party. As the party broke up from this location, the victim, Emmanuel Gatewood, walked down the sidewalk and was standing right here talking with some friends as they were getting ready to leave, waiting for other friends to uh, accompany them. A moment later, the young man walked up to them. The suspect began firing, did not say a word to anybody. He is a uh, male black in uh, his late teens, skinny build, approximately six foot tall, and uh, possibly wavy hair is how he was described. 323-890-5500 is the number to call if you know anything about Mamo's murder. You can also call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. The only name you'll be asked for is the killer's, even if it's just a nickname. You'll never have to give anyone your own name unless you want to. Of course, if life were fair, the 10 to 20 people at the party that night would have already told Detective Gunner everything they know. So far, I haven't been able to get any information other than a general description, and I'm hoping that uh, somebody has a little bit more information and will be willing to uh, help out with this. Mamo's mother says he rarely went out, and if life was fair, this would not have been their last moment together. I had made a rosary, um, a macrame rosary, and it was on my dresser, and he walked into the room. And he really didn't say anything. He just looked at the rosary and he looked at me and he like, you know, did one of these gestures and I told him, you know, I shook my head to him and he picked it up and he gave me a high five and he walked out of the house. Was it in his pocket that, that night? He had it on. He wore it around his neck. If you can help, call the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Homicide Bureau at 323-890-5500 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS. Anonymous calls are welcome. On the trail of LA's most wanted, Tony Valdez, Fox 11 News.